Now, if you've been around the channel any length of time, you know that I'm the kind of person that if I have to mass produce something, I will make a, a fixture or maybe even a custom machine to do it. I built a couple of bar stool frames using the same material I used to make the hairpin legs, and the guy liked them so much he wants four more. Building them by hand is a little bit of a pain because making each piece identical is uh, kind of challenging. Today I'm going to make a special tool that will bend each piece exactly the same every time. We'll start by cutting a piece of half inch steel pipe and rolling it into an arc. This will be used as the form for our half inch hot rolled round bar. Now we'll just mark the top of this. And we'll cut that in half. Now we'll build a framework so we can just lay our half inch tube in there and use the top half to smash the bottom half and that will give us our nice curve on this. No one ever accused me of not getting every last inch out of a blade. So at this point I cut this quarter inch steel plate to act as a, a reinforcement for the steel pipe that I'd split into two pieces. Um, half of it will support the top, the other half will support the bottom. Here I'm cutting a, uh, a lever that is going to uh, drive the top plate down onto the bottom. So what I've done here is I've cut pieces to make a framework and what will happen is the bottom half of the arc will be welded to this framework and then you see these uh, larger tubes on top of the uh, smaller tubes they will act as guides to uh, uh, allow the top framework to slide down onto the bottom framework and that action will compress our steel rod into an arc. Here I'm welding the split pipe onto the uh, quarter inch thick plate steel support braces. So after welding the fixed and movable arc forms onto the framework, it's time to install the lever that will uh, provide the uh, additional force needed to bend the steel rod. Okay, now I have the center of the rod in the center of the arc, and we'll just bend this down. Now I was hoping that I had enough curvature because I knew that the arc was going to relax once it was bent. Okay, now I have marked this rod in the middle. But I'm going to just go with balance. Now there's the balance point. And we'll rotate this around and look at that, the mark for the middle is at the same place as the balance point. So I don't think marking the middle or on these rods is going to be necessary. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's try this again. This thing works really easily. I mean, that is, that is a piece of cake to bend that. Now let's compare the two. Okay, so taking a look at these, when, when you line these up, they are very close. I mean, there is less than a quarter of an inch of difference between these two. And that is good enough. Come in here, we'll apply some downward pressure, and we'll just bend 
That's not good. So there's half of my bar stool. Okay, we'll try the other one. Apply some downward pressure on the uh, on the arc, and just pull this right in. Okay, so here's how this works, is we've got these two identical halves, and we just bridge those with another piece of the arced metal, and then we put a, a flat mounting plate across the top. All right, so here we have our two duplicate sides and our footrest. So what we'll do is we'll tack that in place, and then we'll take these mounting plates that I've created and uh, put them on the top. And that will be our bar stool frame. So mass producing these is the reason I built that tool and I'm pretty happy with the result and I'm pretty certain that the guy who uh, asked me for four more copies after the last two I made him was going to be happy as well. All that needs to be done from this point is get yourself a nice piece of live edge wood and carve it into shape, maybe put some depressions in there for your buns to slide into and uh, bolt it together. Now I'm not willing to ship these but if you're in the Sacramento area I'd be happy to make some for you too. So that's all for this time. Don't forget to get in touch with me if you'd like me to make some of these bar stool frames for you. And thanks for stopping in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.